This conference will now be recorded. Okay. Thank you, Kamri sir. Sorry, sir. So, no problem. So, my friends, so my brothers, you have seen that this is the truth of the Quran, but in this, there is the primary education. Even though this is a basal khayal farman, the initial and the fundamental teaching is to remember him all the time, all the time. It is not limited to seven o'clock evening or four o'clock in the morning. No, that was okay when we were children, when our parents was, were trying to teach us and show us the discipline. But as we grow up, and I don't think we have very many children on this line. And the recording which will be here after this, later on, we are all adult. अब हम बच्चे नहीं है कि हमको घड़ी और हमारे माँ बाप बताए कि वक्त हो गया है मोला को याद कर लो ये तो बच्चों को सिखाया जाता है बच्चों के लिए होता है सो जस्ट फॉर द रिकॉर्डिंग पर्पजेस लेट मी गो एड एंड मैं फरमान एंड आई विल रीड दिस पैराग्राफ बट वी अंडरस्टैंड दिस पैराग्राफ नाउ that this paragraph is showing us, even though this is a basal khyal farman, once again, the primary and the basic principle of remembrance. Khulna, Eastern Pakistan, December 2nd, 1964, Nur Malana Shah Karim al Saini Hazri Maan Salvatullah said, in our path, we do not believe in only that which is enjoyed upon every Muslim. It is not sufficient, but that we should concentrate on the existence of Allah, not only at the time of prayers, but also at other times during the day and the night. There is a hadith which is attributed to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, where he is supposed to have said that any Muslim who thinks of Allah in his heart at any time other than the prayer, this is equal to prayers. So let's go into our further understanding of this Farman. And then we will come into the understanding how does this reflect this hidayat, this very hidayat reflects on the bowl and this miyazam. Ab hum aage dekhenge ki ye hidayat jo mula ne upar farmai, uska asar, uska reaction, humare bowl aur is miyazam par kis tarah se padta hai. Mullah further says, I want my spiritual children to understand that I am giving them bowl because I want them not only to perform their regular duties in the Jamaat Ghana, but also to carry light in their hearts. This is a one single point, if we take away from this one single point, and if you remember all of the bowl and ibadat lectures that you have heard from this Garib and Nachis, if you can connect this one paragraph to all of those lectures, and if you forget everything else, then I would say, that we have done our job, the time which we have invested today and for last two, three years, 
will be worth it and will bring you peace and happiness in your heart. Just one single point. The essence of all of those bowl and the Bethel Kya lectures. And that is in this one paragraph. I will come back to the English. Mola Farmate came Mere Ruani Bacho to me is Basco Samajna Chaye Kijo Bol me Ashtum Kotenevala home. Vokali is Lenie Ketum is Bolko Lo or Ibazis Koro. Okay, ye slavey hair. कि ये हम जो रोजाना अपनी क्रिया करते हैं और जो भी हमारी ड्यूटी से टुवर्ड्स द रिलीजन हमारे जो भी फराइज है मजहब की तरफ उससे बढ़कर है बल्कि ये मैं तुमको इसलिए दे रहा हूं ताकि तुम अपने दिल में मेरा नूर लेकर चलो क्या फरमाया कि मैं बोल इसलिए देता हूं ताकि तुम अपने दिल में नूर को लेकर चलो नाचीज वो गरीब ने इस बात को पिछले दो तीन साल के अंदर बहुत ज्यादा इम्फिसाइज किया है उस पर बहुत ज्यादा जोर दिया है in last few years, I have emphasized on this point again and again at, in hundreds of sessions that when Imam gives you the ball along with that ball, because ball itself is a symbol, but, but the essence in the ball is the nur and the Amar, the blessing, the khanavadan, which Imam gives to you when you are receiving the ball. And Imam says, when I give you the ball, I'm giving you the nur, carry that in your heart. And the example I have used, like a handkerchief. Ball is like a handkerchief. बोल जो एक रुमाल की तरह है इमाम उसके अंदर अपना नूर डालकर अपनी दुआएं दुआशिश खानावदान अपना अमर डालकर बंद करके आपको दे देते हैं द बोल इज एन एग्जांपल ऑफ हैंडकर्चिव इमाम पुट्स हिज ब्लेसिंग इस खानावदान his nur gives to you. Keep their nur, carry the light in their hearts, in your hearts. It's already done. He has given to you. Now what you need to do? What is your purpose of ibadat? What is your understanding of Ibadat? Open their handkerchief. Bol ko khole, bol ko uthaye, bol ko jagaye, bol ko itni mardava pukare ke wo khul kar aap ke liye noor ka kaam kare. You see why I said this one single paragraph is the essence and the answer to all of those hundred sessions that we have taken over the years. One single paragraph. Agar aap is nukte ko samaj ki hai ke jis noor ki aap talash karte hai wo to aap ke andari mojud hai. Us din se jis din mola ne aap ko the very nur that you are seeking and looking for is in your heart from the minute 
you were given the ball by the imam e zaman only thing now you have to do is call upon that isme azam open that isme azam awake that isme azam and see the noor believe understand and practice kya bola yakeen kare samjhe aur phir uski practice kare one who does not believe in that that the noor has been given to them they will never be able to understand what i'm saying and those who do not understand what i'm saying they will never be able to get to the noor because they didn't even believe it because they didn't even understand it how would they get to the noor so write it down yakeen kare फिर उसको समझे फिर उसकी प्रैक्टिस करें सो यू मे रिसीव द बॉल बिलीव इट अंडरस्टैंड इट देन प्रैक्टिस क्योंकि वी हैव बीन प्रैक्टिसिंग फॉर इयर्स एंड इयर्स विदाउट बिलीविंग दैट इमाम हैज गिवन अस द नूर मे बी वी डिड नॉट नो विदाउट अंडरस्टैंडिंग हाउ इमाम हैज गिवन द नूर maybe we did not know but now that we know practice with this understanding my brother and sister this is the one single paragraph if you can remember it can bring you lot of happiness in the ibadat let's read further agar aap is ek paragraph ko samajh gaye तो इंशाला आपके लिए बहुत सारी खुशियां अनकरीब सामने होगी माई स्पिरिचुअल चिल्ड्रन विल गेट फ्रॉम दंदगी इमेंस हैप्पीनेस मेरे रवानी बच्चों आप बंदगी से बहुत ज्यादा खुशियां हासिल करोगे आमीन बट ओनली बाय द ग्रेस ऑफ अल्लाह रिमेंबर जो दो आशीष मोला ने फरमाई थी उसकी वजह से रिमेंबर द इमाम खाना वदान इमाम विश फॉर यू इमाम ब्लेसिंग फॉर यू ओनली थ्रू दैट नॉट बिकॉज इट इज द राइट ऑफ स्पिरिचुअल चिल्ड्रन इसलिए नहीं कि तुमने उसको कमाया है और उसका हक है तुम्हारे तुम्हारे तुम्हारा कोई हक है उसके ऊपर इट इज नॉट that you have right over that if you do not have happiness for a certain amount of time you should not think you will never have this agar aisa nahi hota hai kuch waqt tak to aisa na samajhna ki ye tumhare liye nahi hoga mola further says many spiritual children have wave waited for the 15 20 years and have not had this happiness kabhi kabhar aisa bhi hota hai ke 15 20 saal nikal jate hain aur ye khushi hasil nahi hoti hai here i would like to add few words when imam wish and will an imam is happy to see you and you are sitting in front of the imam imam ask you are you here and do you promise that if i give you this meazam the bowl you will perform the bandagi you will be regular in your ibadat you will do anything and everything to be successful in ibadat meaning you will wake up give your time your effort your sleep and you will come to jamaat khana or at least will wake up 
and sit in ibadat as you promise. And in return, Imam gives you the blessing that if you do that, my wish and will is that this happiness be yours. Ab sab samjhe ke jab hum bol lene ke liye jaate hain, to wahan par jo murid aur murshid ke zarmiyan mein bole bigar conversation hoti hai, baat chit hoti hai. वादा होता है और वो वादा क्या होता है कि हम यहाँ पर अपनी खुशी से आए हैं या मोला अगर आप हमें बोल देते हैं तो हम वादा करते हैं कि हम बाकायदगी से उठकर जमा से जाएंगे अपने नींद और वक्त की कुर्बानी देंगे और इबादत करेंगे अगर हम जमा से नहीं जा सकेंगे तो भी हम उठकर इबादत करेंगे ये प्रॉमिस होता है हमारा उसके बदले में इमाम फरमाते हैं कि अगर तुम ऐसा करोगे तो मेरी दुआ है मेरी ख्वाहिश है कि तुम्हें उसके अंदर से खुशियां हासिल हो और जिंदगी में कम से कम एक मर्तबा कम से कम एक मर्तबा मे बी मोर देन दैट आपको नूर का दीदार हो इन वन प्लेस At the time of Imam Akasul Samo Masha Salvatullah Alayhi, may our soul be sacrificed to their Imam. A murid came to the Imam and said, Mola Bapa, I have been practicing ibadat for many, many years. I have not been successful. Imam surprisingly asked, Really? Your bowl is not working for you? He said, no, Mala Bapa. He said, are you doing A, B, C? Imam asked him, do you give the son? Do you come to Jamaat Khanna? Are you a good person? What about your deeds? All of those ethics of Islam, the moral ethics, are you performing all of that? He says, I'm doing everything that I'm supposed to do to be successful in Ibadat. All of a sudden, Mola Bapa's face, he said, either you are a liar or I am a liar. Of course, Muridi was shaken up. You know, Mola, I don't understand. Mullah Bapa says, if you are doing everything the, the, uh, according to the guidance, according to the farman, if your morals are correct, your ethics are correct, and you are performing your ibadat the way you're supposed to perform your ibadat, then how did my wish for you was to be successful did not come through? Because Imam wants you to have this happiness. Imam wants you to have this happiness. Imam wish you to have this happiness. And there is nothing wrong with our Ismi Azam. There has to be something in our action, something in our deeds, something in our understanding or something in our belief which is blocking us, stopping us from opening that handkerchief. We are doing something which is not able to have that handkerchief, the bowl open up. There's something is stopping us. But look at the mercy of the Imam. Achai, se pehle ke hum English mein jaye. Na cheez arz kar raha tha ke jab Mola ne hume bol dete hue ye khaish taer ki, hume amar diya, 
ہمیں اس میں آزم دیتے ہوئے فرمایا کہ میں چاہتا ہوں کہ تم اپنی زندگی میں کم از کم ایک مرتبہ اس کی خوشی حاصل کر سکو تو کیا وجہ ہوئی کہ ہمیں پندرہ بیس سال تک بھی عبادت میں کچھ نہیں ملتا کیا وجہ ہوئی ایک ایونٹ میں جب امام آقا سلطان محمد شاہ صلی اللہ علیہ کا فورٹی ایٹ جامع کا وقت تھا جب ایک مومن ملا کے پاس آیا اور کہنے لگا کہ مجھے عبادت میں فائدہ نہیں ہو رہا ہے میرا اس میں آزم کام نہیں کر رہا ہے مولا نے اس کو پوچھا کیا تم یہ کرتے ہو تم یہ کرتے ہو کیا تم پوری دسم دیتے ہو کیا تم دعا پڑھتے ہو کیا تم جماعت کھانے آتے ہو کیا تمہارے عادات تمہارے اعمال درست ہیں اس نے کہا مولا میں سب کچھ کریکٹلی کرتا ہوں درست کرتا ہوں مولا بابا جوش میں آ جاتے ہیں کہتے ہیں یا تو تم جھوٹے ہو یا میں جھوٹا ہوں وہ بندہ ڈر جاتا ہے مرید ڈر جاتا ہے بولتا ہے مولا میں کیا کروں یہاں پر سے ہمیں پتا چلتا ہے کہ ایسا ممکن ہی نہیں ہے کہ امام آپ کے لیے دعا کرے آپ کے لیے خواہش کرے آپ کے لیے امر کرے اور وہ کام نہ ہو یہ ممکن نہیں ہے کیونکہ مولا نے چاہا کہ میں آپ کو اس میں آزم دوں اور تم اس میں کامیاب ہو اف مولا ڈی ناٹ وش ہی وڈ ناٹ ہیو گیون یو دس میں آزم ناٹ اونلی ہی وش بٹ ہی ولڈ اینڈ وین ہی ول اٹ ہیپنس دیر مسٹ بی سم تھنگ ضرور ایسی کوئی بات ہے ہمارے آداد میں ہمارے اعمال میں کہ جس کی وجہ سے ہم اپنے آپ کو اس مقام تک پہنچنے سے روک رہے ہیں آپ ذاتی طور پر اپنے آپ کو ٹٹو لیں چیک یور سیلف ریفلیکٹ آن یور سیلف وٹ ایم آئی ڈوئنگ بیکاز اٹ کین ناٹ بی دیٹ اس میں آزم از ناٹ ورکنگ اٹ ہیز ٹو بی سم تھنگ وی آر ناٹ ڈوئنگ اٹ کریکٹلی And today in above paragraph, we learned Iman, faith, understand, samjhe, practice. Phir uske upar amal kare. Inshallah. And look at it. I'm not saying it. Mola Baba truly wish. My spiritual children will get from Bandagi immense happiness. That is Imam's wish for you. That is Imam's prayer for you. But look at the mercy. Now the Imam's rahmat ko dekhe. Farmate hai, agar 15-20 saal tak bhi aisa na ho, to aisa nahi hai ke aap na kaam ho gye hai. Ibadat mein bethna hi kamiyabi ki nishani hai. Aap yakin kare. Aap us baat ko samjhe. Ke ibadat mein bethna hi kamiyabi ki nishani hai. Even if you do not receive the light for 15, 20 years of your practice, don't worry, because sitting in the ibadat itself is a success. If you sit in ibadat happily, not with a burden, agar aap ibadat mein khushi khushi bethte hain, taklif se nahi, زور زبردستی نہیں دین دا سٹنگ ان عبادت اٹ سیلف ول برنگ یو دی ہیپینس بیکاز سٹنگ ان عبادت اٹ سیلف از سکسیس وہی آپ کو خوشی دیں گی اور وہی آپ کے لیے کامیابی کی نشانی ہے مولا سیز بٹ ونس دے ہیو ہیڈ دس دین اٹ از آل رائٹ جب آپ کو یہ خوشی کا اندازہ ہوگا انشاءاللہ کل نہیں آج ہی آپ کوشش کریں شرط خوشی سے بیٹھے خوشی سے اٹھے 
बर्डन से नहीं जोर जबरदस्ती नहीं यार अब इतनी नींद आ रही है मुझे इबादत के लिए उठना है यार इबादत के लिए उठना है क्या करूं यू नो हाउ वी आर वी ऑल नो आवर सेल्फ वी डू दैट डोंट वी ओ माई गॉड आई टू वेक अप फॉर इबादत इज सो बर्डन सम नो सिट इन इबादत With happiness, so you may wake, may you stand up with happiness. Don't take ibadat as a burden. Take ibadat as blessing. Ibadat is a blessing. No one has isme azam, but you and me as a smiley. Seven, eight billion people on this earth. we are handful of murids have the isme azam of the imam is zaman ibadat is a blessing don't forget that don't forget how fortunate we are to have imam is zaman and then we have imam is zaman who have given us the isme azam which is wish which is will which is blessing which is khana wadan never ever forget that how fortunate we are and with that wake up with happiness sit with happiness and then inshallah that happiness will be yours not tomorrow today inshallah inshallah that is the imam's wish for you and they will understand it and they will never question nor fail to understand the meaning of ibadat does this sum up our session or not dekhe yahan par wohi alfaz imam ke alfaz hai mere alfaz nahi the wo jo nachiz ne bayan kiye hai mola ne farmaya ke dekhe जब आपको ये खुशी मिलेगी सब ठीक हो जाएगा आप की समझ में आ जाएगा कोई सवाल बाकी नहीं रहेगा आपको कोई भी मिसअंडरस्टैंडिंग नहीं होगी देर इज नो फेल टू अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग ऑफ इबादत इबादत इज द की इबादत चाबी है the key to the real understanding of islam ibadat is the key to the real understanding of islam allahumma salli ala muhammadin wa ali muhammad i will stop here so we may have some time for comments or questions very beautiful for me inshallah ji this is subhan allah sir subhan allah Uh, friends, please share your question in the chat. So there are no questions in the chat. Uh, friends, please unmute your device if you have any questions. Yali madad. Yali madad. Na, to bhot shukriya, maular shukra. Jaisa jamaat hai, ham ko samjhani ke liye. Or ek chiz hamari ham bali request ta jizana. हमारे बेन बायोस ये है कि एक चीज बहुत इंसान को सक्सेसफुल बना सकता है वो है मोहब्बत जमात गैर जमात के साथ अब जब भी होता है या काम करते है चार्मिंग बहुत लव कंपैशन गले लगाओ प्यार आई लव यू बोलो यूज करो ये वर्ड जब आप एक्साइटिंग हो जाए जब आप नाचेंगे रोमी जैसा मस्त हो जाएगा आप जल्दी फना फिल्ला हो जाएगा ये बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट की है हमारे लोग बहुत कनाडा में है जिस जगह में है बहुत डरता है जब आई लव यू बोलो तो वो, वो खुद को बैकअप कर दे आप माँ हैं आप मेरे बहन हैं आप लोग बहुत रूहानी रिश्ता है ये चीजों भूल जाओ ये हाइवानी सिफत से भूल जाओ 
ये चीज आपको रोकता है जो आप अलवाई साहब आपने बताया कि कोई चीज रोकता है अगर आप सारे काम करता है जो मौला ने फरमाया आपके दसवान और ये चीजों सारे कंप्लीट है तो ये चीज की कमी हो तो आप के दिल में नफरत की जगह है आप अपना पड़ोसी हिंदू है मुसलमान है यहूदी है कुत्ता है बिल्ला सब को प्यार चाहिए सब अल्लाह की बेस्ट क्रिएशन है सारे खुदा ने ये मिसाल इंसान ये सारी कायनात आपके अंदर में है अगर इससे प्यार नहीं करेंगे आप दूर होंगे इस मोहब्बत की शुक्रिया याल मदद my brother has just reminded me of imam's farman of chandrat pehle aapas mein ek dil ho jao phir jamaat khane mein hazir ho kar ibadat karoge to mola tumhare gunah maaf karega tumko jannat naseeb karega tumko didar naseeb karega this is the key farman to be one become one initially start with that that is the one point the one thing that my brother reminded me and it is reminding all of us to be one with each other do not keep any bad thoughts of our brother and sister so we may go to jamaat kana as one heart one soul one brother and sister and then when we perform ibadat inshallah mola is most merciful most merciful he will bless you with his noor thank you i see a question in the chat um from karima let me read this question in the past you have said that imam gives us the noor and then gives us the name ismi azam which wish to call the noor is this noor given to us at the same time as when the ismi azam is given or is this noor the same as the spark we are born with okay to ek sawal hai dekhe har insaan ke andar ek roo hai और वो रूह नफसुल वाहिदा यानी कि इमाम की रूह से आई है आई विल एक्सप्लेन दिस इन इंग्लिश डोंट वरी आई एम कमिंग टू दैट वो इमाम से आई है जब ये रूह हमारे अंदर है तो उसकी एक चिंगारी भी हमारे अंदर है लेकिन जब हम इसमें आजम के लिए जाते हैं तो आपको याद होगा अगर आपने नाचीज के पहले सेशंस को सुना है और ऐसा लगता है कि आपने सुना है कि वहां पर हम क्या लेने जा रहे हैं हम इमाम की दुआएं लेने जा रहे हैं इसमें आजम के साथ इसमें आजम यानी कि बोल के साथ इमाम की जो दुआएं हैं उसकी हमें जरूरत है तो अब आप आपने देखा कि इसमें आजम के अंदर दुआएं खाना वदान और नूर डालकर फुल फ्लैच नूर डालकर वो हमें देता है अब जब हम इसमें आजम को कॉल करते हैं जब हम इसमें आजम को पढ़ते हैं जब हम इसमें आजम की प्रैक्टिस करते हैं लेकिन पहले ईमान होना चाहिए कि मौला ने नूर दिया है फिर उसकी अंडरस्टैंडिंग होनी चाहिए कि किस तरह दिया है फिर उसकी प्रैक्टिस होनी चाहिए ताकि वो रुमाल खुले ताकि वो बोल खुले ताकि वो बोल जिंदा हो जावे और उसके अंदर से आपको नूर की नवाजिश हो आप समझ गए करीमा फॉर माय फ्रेंड्स इंग्लिश स्पीकिंग फ्रेंड माय सिस्टर वॉज एस्किंग अ क्वेश्चन दैट do we have any noor or spark in ourselves when we are born or are we born with the noor and spark in the, in the explanation this garib and nachi said that when we are born we are given a soul 
And this soul is a part of the soul of the Imam as Nafsun Wahida. We are from that one single soul of the Imam. So in the soul, there is the spark of the Nur of the Imam because we are part of him. We are part of him. But on top of that, when we go to the Ismi Azam, Bethul Qiyal ceremony, not only that we are there to receive the bowl, the name, the Ismi Azam, but we are there for the blessing, the wish and the will, the Amr of the Imam. And when Imam gives us a bowl, he gives us the blessing, he gives us the full flesh Nur, and then he gives to us. Now, we have that Nur in our heart. If we believe, if we understand, and if we practice. So there were three ifs. With that, inshallah, we will be able to open their handkerchief, awaken that Ismi Azam, and be able to receive the blessing of the Noor with Imam's wish and will, inshallah. Okay. Uh, so we have another uh, friend asking for clarification. Uh, I think there is a lot of misunderstanding sometimes that by remembering the names of our Imam during the day, it is a substitution for dua, meaning okay not to say dua as prescribed at a specific time. Please clarify. Okay. So let's try to understand at the level of Shariat, Tariqat, Hakikat. As a children, as a young man, and as a wise man. Okay? Are you with me, Karima? And everyone else? We're going to understand this question on three levels. Children are called and forced to drink milk every four hour because without that they will not grow strong just like that in shariat the muslim are called to prayer five times as farath and five times as nawafil then in tariqat it is taught the meaning of the prayers, meaning of the prayers. Now, if we do not understand the meaning of the prayers, meaning we may call ourselves Hakikati, we think we are in the time of Hakikat, but we are not anywhere near to the Hakikat, but we are still sitting in the Shariat and in the Shariat you must 7 o'clock, Dua time 4 o'clock, Ibadah time Now let me show you Hakikat Hakikat It is not 7 o'clock which will tell me to recite my Dua Dua is for us, no doubt about that. There is no question about that. We must go to Jamaat Khana when we can. We must recite our Dua with the Jamaat when we can. And we have a Farman. If you cannot be in Jamaat Khana, for example, you are a student, you are working, you are a nurse, you are a doctor, you are on duty. What about the volunteer standing outside? The Jamaat Khana. Then Imam has given you a leave away, and that is to go to the Jamaat Khana afterward, or whenever possible, say your dua. Say your dua. Three times dua is compulsory. 
compulsory part of our Sharia. Now, your second part of your question, your tasbiyat is not substitute for the dua. Because dua itself is the prayers. For example, Surah Alhamd at the beginning of the dua. If someone recites Surah Alhamd a few times in a day, or when they wake up or when they sleep, it is like saying the entire dua, but still there are other ayat and there are other surahs that we must recite our dua. If I think that was your question and you were saying that some people, I don't know who those people are, but we are not talking about other people, we are talking about ourselves. What do we do? Do we understand this? If we do, then, you know, I love to say this uh, thing that we learn in our old neighborhood, panji kar to sanji thie. Focus on yourself so you may reach to the destination. Other says that, other don't understand. We are not worried about others, we are worried about ourselves. So question always must come from us. This is what I understand, and this is what I like to understand. I know we love to say, wo bolta hai, wo bolta hai, wo ye kerta hai, wo ye kerta hai. I don't know why we are focused on others. What do you think, what do you say? How do you understand? That is more important. So because once you understand, you will be able to help others, right? Instead of focusing on them, how about we focus on ourselves? G. Good question, Karima, because thank you for, because that is sometimes the misunderstanding and you had given this Karima Nachis a chance to clarify that. Thank you for doing that. G. So we don't have any questions in the chat. Then so look like there was one additional question. The prescribed time of the dua. I believe there was another added question to that. I just saw that. Prescribed time of the dua. Let's say within our area in Dallas, there was a time that we have a 6.30 dua in one Jamaat Khana, 7 in the second Jamaat Khana, 7.30 in another Jamaat Khana, 8 o'clock in another Jamaat Khana. Which one is the prescribed dua time? Is it 6.30, 7, 7.30 or 8? Which one is it? And then if I lived, when we lived in Indiana, Within a half a mile, maybe only quarter of a mile, there was a time zone changed. While we are reciting dua here at seven o'clock, just a quarter mile away, it was eight o'clock. So are you saying if I'm on this side of the border, I need to recite my dua one hour earlier? Again, Prescribe time to one can be like a child must drink milk every four hour. If we are children, if we still think of ourselves in the time of Sharia, then you are absolutely right. It cannot be 659, it cannot be 701. It has to be seven o'clock because that is Sharia. Where do you stand? That should be the question. That should be the question. Where do I stand? I want to love my Mola Bapa so much that I forget the time. I wanted to remember him so much that I forget the time. 
I wanted to feel him so much that I forget the time. If they are not calling you a maid in the love with the Imam, then what kind of moment are you? Our Ustaz said that when people don't call you a man, you don't have a love for your Mawla. My teacher would say, if people don't call you crazy in the love of the Imam, your love for the Imam is not complete yet. That's how a Murid and Murshid is in love that they forget. Look at the Majnu for the Leila, Romeo for the Juliet. Are we there yet? Jeez, I just saw that additional question, so I thought I would add, add the answer to. Okay, another question I see. Why do we have two du'as in the evening and not one? If you go into the Quran and look at the Amr or the Farman Elahi, then we must pray, and there is a tawil to that. We'll come to that in a minute. Before the sunrise in the morning, at the sun, time of the sunset in the evening, and after the sunset in the evening. So one time in the morning before the sunrise, at the time of the sunset and after the sunset, that makes three prayers that we must offer. The tawil of that is, of the morning, that you want to Remember and offer your shukrana, your shukrana for to give you another day of life because you could have slept and you could have died. But Mola gave you one more day. So for that in shukrana, you offer your prayer in the morning. Along with that, you are praying that since you have given me another day, please make my day a blessed day. So I may follow you. I would do deeds according to your Framan, which will make you happy. That's the morning prayer. Evening prayer, the first prayer. At the time of sunset, we do Shukrana. Ya Mola. Thank you for giving me a blessed day. You see, all this comes with understanding. Most of the time we offer things, we don't understand things. We just do things without any understanding. The first dua, Shukar Mullah, for giving me a blessed day. Blessed day. Thank you for that. And then we do our second dua. Now this second dua is giving shukrana and asking for a blessing that now we are starting the second half of our 24 hour, the night time. Mola, as you made my day a blessed day for me, make my night a blessed night for me. This is Tawil number one. You know, in English we say, the lesson 101. Because if we don't even understand this part, we already are not understanding what we are doing. So do we understand now why three it was? That is the perfect understanding why we offer. And this was just Tawil number one. There are much more understanding which our dais and peer have given to us, which we can learn, we can read about it, and inshallah, we can talk about it too. Thank you, that was a good question. Thank you so much. G. Uh, sorry, another question. Uh, yeah, it is, 
it is in Quran. Uh, is it in Quran that uh, it says one in morning and two in the uh, two in the evening? Evening. Yes. Uh, if you have your dua book, if you have your dua book, first page on your dua book. First page on your dua book. If you have a dua book, please open, and you will find that ayat in your dua book in your home. Again, please read, understand, and so we can do things with a greater understanding. G. Yali madad, sir. Yali madad. Sir, aap jo bolay na, jaise believe, understand, and practice. To sir, understand me to hum ek farman ki line bhi sir sahi nahi samajh pa rahe. To hum bol samajh nahi jaate to. देखें गुलजार आपकी आजीजी से मैं कुर्बान आपकी आजीजी से हम सब कुर्बान ये है एक ट्रू मोमिन की निशानी सुना आपने क्या कहा कहा कि हम तो एक फरमान की लाइन भी नहीं समझ सकते हैं तो कहा हम इबादत और बोल को समझ पाएंगे ये आजीजी आपको मुबारक हो दस अ ग्रेट वे टू स्टार्ट यू नो वॉट मोमिन बिकम्स वेन इज ए आई डो नॉट नो ही बिकम्स मुस्तजीब दैट इज अ फर्स्ट रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ बींग अ मुस्तजीब मुस्तजीब स्टूडेंट को बोलते हैं स्टूडेंट ऑफ द इल्म ऑफ द इमाम को मुस्तजीब बोलते हैं वेन अ मोमिन से आई डो नॉट नो इंस्टेंटली Imam says, "Come, let me teach you." Until we say, "I know everything, I know this, I know that," Imam says, "Okay, if you know everything, then you don't need me." Kurban, Imam says. So, Imam says, "Okay, if you know everything, then you don't need me." Kurban, Imam says. So, Imam says, "Okay, if you know everything, then you don't need me." Kurban, Imam says. So, Imam says, "Okay, if you इस बात पर यकीन करेंगे कि इमाम ने हमको नूर दिया है फिर हम इसमें आजम के मानी को समझेंगे कि इमाम ने हमको क्या दिया है और याद रखे आखिर में इसमें आजम एक मिसाल है उसका ममसूल जो है उसका एसेंस जो है उसका रिटर्न जो है वो नूर है और उसको हमको समझना है कुर्बान आपकी आजिजी और आपके सवाल से थैंक यू जी थैंक यू सर सर वी हैव अदर क्वेश्चन फ्रेंड्स आस्किंग आवर गिनाज आल्सो से दैट दुआ एट 7 पीएम द ट्वाइलाइट टाइम इज इंपॉर्टेंट एज दिस ट्वाइलाइट टाइम इज अ होली टाइम कैन यू कमेंट ऑन ट्वाइलाइट टाइम एंड दुआ इन रिफ्लेक्शन टू द गिना So, सबसे पहले यस इफ यू रिमूव सेवन पी एम फ्रॉम योर क्वेश्चन यू हैव अ परफेक्ट क्वेश्चन बिकॉज यू एडिट सेवन पी एम दैट यू मेड द क्वेश्चन वेरी वेरी इनकरेक्ट क्वेश्चन सो विथ योर परमिशन आई विल रिमूव द सेवन पी एम बिकॉज द इवनिंग फॉर यू मे नॉट बी इवनिंग फॉर मी आई डोट नो वेर यू लिव If you are living in Alaska, at the North Pole or the South Pole, you may not even have a evening time. How would you explain that? So whenever we add a specific, particular time into our question or into our understanding, we actually misguiding ourselves. We are deviating away from the right question and right answer. The correct question is, Sanjya Vera na chuko momin bai. Do not miss the time of the evening. See, no time, no 7 p.m. Doesn't matter what time it is, but do not miss that time of the evening where there is a sunset and where the night begins. because here we are talking about the sun 
as the time of the Imam and the night the time of the peer. At that junction, at that junction, you must pray. But do not forget the morning time, the Nurani time. Same thing happens again in the morning, at the end of the night, at the beginning of the day. It's called Nurani time. The both time are the reflection on the day and the night, and the night and the day. On the light of the Imam, and the evening or the darkness, when we do not have the direct knowledge, the light of the Imam, but we are with the peers. And both of those time are the blessed time. That is the understanding of the Sanjavera, the evening time, and the Nurani time, the morning time. Do not forget the morning time. G. یونیورسٹی میں دوسرے جگہ میں بھی ہوتا ہے کہ اسماعیلی لوگ کیوں تین وقت نماز پڑھتا ہے اور پانچ وقت نہیں پڑھتا ہے اور یہ پانچ وقت نماز قرآن میں نہیں ہے اور یہ جو تین وقت ہے یہ سورہ دقیق یاد نہیں میں میمرائز کیا ہے یہ کہتے ہیں عقیم صلاح دلو کی شمس اللہ اللہ ایک یہ آیت ہے ایک دوسرا آیت ہے کہ بالغدود والاسا یہ آیت نور کے بعد میں یہ آیت آتا ہے کہ صبح و شام کو خدا کو یاد کرو اور دوسرا تین ایک اور آیت بھی ہے جس مینشن کیا کہ صبح شام کو یا شام کے دو وقت کو اور صبح کو آپ عبادت کرو اور نماز پڑھو اور یہ چیز صرف ضروری تھا ہمارے بین بھائیوں کے جو تین وقت نماز ہے قرآن میں ہے جو اسماعیلی تین وقت نماز پڑھتا ہے نماز دعا یہ سارے ایک چیز ہوتا ہے اور جو پانچ وقت بہت سارے بتا ہے کہ آپ لوگ کیوں پانچ وقت نہیں پڑھتا ہے اور پانچ وقت پروفیت علیہ السلام نے پڑھ لیا لیکن قرآن میں مینشن نہیں ہوا ہے شکریہ سو آئی ایگری ود یو اینڈ آئی ڈس ایگری ود یو ود مچ ریسپیکٹ دیر آر ایکچولی مینشن آف فائیو ٹائم نماز ایز ویل ان دی قرآن انڈر دی پارٹ آف دی شریعت ان ہدایت بٹ ایز اے اسمائلی We take the Amr and the Farman of the Imam of the time. To have this understanding, we must understand that every time a new Nati comes, he brings his own Shariat. As we can see, the different Shariat in the Abrahamic tradition, in Judaism, in Christianity, And even within the Islam, you will find different traditions according to the time and the place. For example, Sunnah tradition compared to Shia tradition. Just like that, according to the time and the place, today we may have a three time dua. If Imams wants and if he wills, we can have 10 time dua or one time dua. Nachi's opinion is, is irrelevant, is irrelevant. If he says dua one time, two time, three time, four time, five time, you know why I say is irrelevant? Because the key principle in the Quran in Surah Baqarah you will find, you remember him standing, sitting, and on your side. Uthe bete ra chalante saib jino naam lijiye. The Farman of Golden Jubilee, even if you have five seconds, 10 seconds, one minute, five minutes, remember him. So you see, as we progress, in, when we are in Hakikat, if we feel we are at the level of Hakikat, 
then everything becomes irrelevant. So we have to be careful. Are we teaching Sharia? Not me. You don't need to learn Sharia. Matter of fact, you know Sharia more than I do. You don't, I don't, I'm not here to teach Sharia. We are here to understand the Batini meaning of our Tariqa, our Farman, Quran, Ginan, and everything at the level of Hakikat. Do not forget that. So let's take one more question, maybe two, and then we will stop here. Yali Madad. Yali Madad. I have said that the Baitul Sahib has said that if you will see the Nur, then everything will be equal. So what do you want to say about the Nur? When you will see the Nur, then you will be equal. You will be equal. Yes. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yali Madad Aziz Bhai. Yali Madad. Okay, sorry. Yali Madad. Aziz Bhai, your lecture, Subhanallah. One thing I understood. Thank you. And now, what you told the Quran's quotation and carry the light in your heart. Subhanallah. And especially understanding, believe, understanding and practice. After that, you also said in the lecture that your previous lectures you have listened to, which I have always been following you, your lectures. So, mashallah, one thing I have said today is that I am so happy to be here. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for your understanding of every lecture, every thing. Shukar Mola. Mola, thank you, Rabia. Mola, thank you, Rabia. Remember, yes. Amin, Amin. Remember, it all the ilm understanding is belong to the Imam Zaman. I am just Garib and Nachis and nobody. हम नहीं आजीज भाई we all are Garib and Nachis. हमें ना कुछ तम हमें ना कुछ तम है सब कुछ. Amin, that is so true. Thank you. याली मदद. Yali Madad, Yali Madad, thank you so much. Deen dunya mein sukhi salamat aur abad rakhe. Ameen, Ameen. Ameen, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Kamre Sahib, should we stop here? There are a lot of comments in the comment box. If you want to leave it open for a few minutes, we can capture those comments and we can take those questions. Inshallah, we will try to cover in some other day, uh, unless there is a pressing question that we must answer now, then we can do that. Otherwise, we can stop here. Friends asking about that, which I say about that, uh, that dua in morning or evening. So I don't remember in my head, but if you do, you share. Okay. Are, are we talking about the dua book? And then, so if you have the dua book in front of you, then you can see it and I can display it for you if you like. Uh, so give me one second. Uh, let me see. Our, this is part of the personal search that we should be able to uh, see the things which are in, in the Dua book. Let me see if this is the current book or this is the old book. I believe this is the old book. Okay, let me see, let me go back. And Okay. It is Surah Ali Imran, ayat number 114. Surah Ali Imran, ayat number 114. But I, I wanted you to look it up yourself because we need to pick up the books and we need to start reading some of the Faramin and the ayat 
in our our dua and there are the entire series of the dua and its meaning how many surahs we have in dua how many ayat do we have in dua you know so we need to learn all of that inshallah this book is a beautiful book to learn and see how you know we need to uh, know the meaning of the dua not just reciting dua but know the meaning of the dua g thank you comrade sahib so we don't have any questions so if you want we can end the session here thank you everyone yali madad yali madad Toronto regarding Prince Amin visit. I've sent some emails the information I have to Arshia and when I get more information. Okay. Thank you, Mansur Bhai, Yali Madad. Shukhala Madad. Mula Tamari Seva Kabul Kare. Yali Madad. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Yali Madad, Yali Madad, everyone, Yali Madad. Yali Madad. Bless you, Aziz, sir. Thank you, thank you, Yali Madad. How do you get this out? I don't know what these are actually.